that the Lord has given unto us, and he has given each and every one of us an opportunity to come to his house. Let us be glad, let us rejoice in the Lord, the God of our salvation. We are going to start our service with praises to the Most High, number 127. Praises to the Most High, 127. Praise and worship team leaders. Yeah, praise God. Him one twenty seven. Jesus loves this I know for the Bible tells me so little one to him belong they are Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you blessed this morning? Are you blessed? Turn to your neighbor, Muliza. Are you blessed? Yes. Are you blessed? I want us to read in the book of Hebrews 13, 18, before we, we sing. 
Yeah, it's a verse that uh, yeah, if the, the media can help us, Hebrews 13, 18. Yeah, so it's a, it's a verse that I love so much. It says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Praise the name of the Lord. He never changed. Amen. He's the same God who parted the Red Sea. He's the same God who blessed, who blessed uh, the, the, the children of Israelites with uh, manna from heaven. And he's the same God. He will rescue us. He's the same God that he, that he promised you something and he will fulfill. Praise the name of the Lord. If you can just believe in this one. As you see, it's a song that we are going to sing. It says that you will change and you will remain the same. Praise the name of the Lord. You have never changed. Okay? What God promised, he will be able to accomplish because he never changed. He's the same Day, yesterday and forevermore. Amen. Glory, I know the Lord. You never 
has changed uh, and you are the same God you promised me Lord uh, 10 years ago uh, 5 years ago you told me that I will be blessed uh, you told me Lord uh, I shall be blessed uh, and Lord King of glory though the time has gone uh, but Lord I choose to stand with you because in the book of Hebrews uh, chapter 13 verse 8 uh, oh you say so oh God uh, the Lord King of glory you are the Lord uh, who is today yesterday and forevermore Just clap to the Lord. Amen. 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 Ooh, we can appreciate it better than that. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Please, those at the back, please op- occupy the front seats. Please. Amen. Amen. Please, those at the back, please occupy the, the front seats.
praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and ask him or her, are you blessed? Na kama neighbor wako hakuongeleshi, toka hapo enda kwa neighbor mwingine. Akuongeleshi. Amen. So, are we blessed today? Are we blessed? Yeah, I want to be before, before you even we see it's it's good to 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 learn some things, you know. That the that the devil is not concerned so much with your marriage with your finances but the devil is concerned with your heart praise the name of the lord because in your heart that is where your mind is connected you are conscious you are ambitious your ambition and you are your conscious ambition and uh, uh there is the mind the conscious the conscious of a person and the ambition of a person praise the name of the lord because when he attacks your heart he will tamper with your thinking what you think will not right will not be right with god want with what god wants you to to think praise the name of the lord your ambition is where you want to reach is where god has purpose you to reach and that is where the devil will tamper and you you would go where god want you to be and the best part and the worst thing that the devil the, the the worst thing that the devil does is to break the conscience of you with god because the conscience is a something it is the one thing that amplifies the voice of god is that one thing that uh, help you to understand the voice of god if you can just protect your heart and wear the bracelet of righteousness it will protect our hearts and the devil will not have something will not tamper with our hearts at the end of the day we will be victorious so go with this hope that the devil is not concerned with your money with your marriage but is concerned with your heart because at the heart is what is where everything is being done because in the abundance of our heart that is where the mouth the mouth speaketh I want us to rem- to repeat that song that we sang as we sang the service you will never change you will remain the same praise the name of the lord if you believe that if you believe that you can just raise your voice and just say god lord i know that you promised me long time ago the lord i shall be here and lord you will do this this and this and this and even if right now god i can't see them uh, working i know you have never changed you are the Jehovah Rapha though i am sick but lord king of glory that name has not been eradicated in your names remain to be Jehovah Rapha even right now i can lack something but lord king of glory i know you are Jehovah Jireh even right now king of glory i doesn't have anything to do lord but lord i know you are the king of that job even right now even if something i'm crying for it for 10 years i know that you are the lord you never change
Jesus. 
Father, we glorify your name. We love your name, O God. In the name of Jesus, we we ni mweba. How far and you shina we In the name of Jesus, our Father, we glorify your name. We love your presence, O God, because I know our Father, you never change. In the name of Jesus, if you can just speak your mouth, you can just open your mouth and tell God, I know you never change. I know you never. How far and we should have we in the name of Jesus our Father? Your family can change, your spouse can change, hey, your children may change, but our Lord cannot change. In the same corner, a man can promise, a man can promise and not accomplish. But what God has promised in His word that He bless us with upper delta, hey, He will come to bless us. I let the blessing of the Lord come upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts be transformed in the name of Jesus. Our hearts will be transformed. Our hearts will be renewed in the name of Jesus. We don't get weary, but Lord King of glory, we shall stand in your presence. We shall walk steadily, our Father, in righteous, O God, our Father. Oh God, our Father, hey, the church, it is time to pray and tell God, we want to rise a generation, a generation will fear you, a generation will not compromise, a generation will fear your name, a generation, our Father, will not tamper with other things, a generation will stand on your word, a generation, my God, will fear Lord, will serve you Lord, in trembling Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, as the book of John says, hey, now the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon us, and the young men shall prophesy, and all people, Lord, shall see visions in the name of Jesus. Among us, Lord, we have young people, Lord, we gonna prophesy, not for other people, but not for us, in the name of Jesus, oh God. generation to rise a generation will rise with fear and trembling will come in the presence of God not because it's a ritual not because it's on Sunday but they know there is a place they will touch as the woman who was bleeding for 12 years he said enough is enough today I gonna touch the hem of the covenant the name of Jesus. Lord, we exalt your name. I want us to say something before we pray. That Lord is raising a generation. A generation will fear God. Some people are saying that the generation is rotten. But Lord, we are praying that we'll be among the, the numbers. The Lord will, raise, will be raised in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter, Lord, what we have done. But Lord, we are coming in repentance. As David said, do not cast away your presence unto me, Lord, upon my life. But renew my spirit, O God. That is our prayer. The Lord may renew our spirit, O God. That we may walk in righteousness in the name of Jesus. As Paul told Timothy, that when you emulate me, you have emulated Christ. That is a level that we want to reach. When people will see you walking in the church, they will say, I want to be like that person. But it's so unfortunately, even for us who are leaders in the church, we are not a true reflection of Jesus. We are not reflecting the word of Jesus. If you can just go in the presence of God and say, God, if I can be a, an image of you, my God, if someone can just believe you because of me, Lord, I want to be among the number. It is about desiring. It is about to desire that we'll have a reflection of Jesus Christ. 
and a reflection of Jesus Christ doesn't come just like that it comes with cost let me say I'm tired to come I'm tired to, to live in a generation that I will look to other people but Lord I want to be a good reflection of you you are a parent here let people let your children may emulate you because of the Christ that you follow Lord, you may be among the number. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we repent because of misleading other people because of our character. We call our creed, we call ourselves Christian, but we still gossip. We call ourselves Christians, oh God, but we still do immorality. We call our cre- ourselves Christians, Lord, but we do things contrary to your will, oh God. Lord, you may forgive us, Lord. The Lord, the King of glory, you may redeem us again, oh God. Lord, there are people who are here, they're asking themselves, oh God, I fall down. My ways are not right. I used to come to church. I used to go in the presence of God for so many hours. But right now I can't just feel anything. But let me tell you, God is coming to redeem you. Lord, we thank you. Just over that prayer. Before we... I want us to pray for the nation. Whatever you are, just speak something because of our nation. Remember the nation of Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> 
made it too heavy. He said he'll send us a helper. And he did today, Lord. All of us that have been saved, Lord, we have received you, my God. We have been baptized by your Holy Spirit, my God. Those who have not received you, my God. Today, my God, the light is shining upon them, my God. Today, my God, you are going to baptize them with your Holy Spirit, my God. You are going to baptize them, my God, with your gladness, with your goodness, Abba Father. You are going to baptize them with your grace, Abba Father. Lord, this is a season, my God, a season like no other seasons, Jehovah, a season where you are transforming our Father, a season where you are breaking chains, my God, a season where you are manifesting yourself, our Father, you are lifting ordinary men, our Father, you are rising ordinary men and women, my God, to praise you, to honor you, our Father, this is a season, my God, a season of glory, our Father, a season where you are favoring your children, a season where you are rising up, you have my God. Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, oh Jesus, 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 you're here, my God. Jesus, you are here, Abba Father. Lord, we are not going to limit what you want to do, my God. We are not going to limit your ways, my God. You are not going to limit what you want to change, my God. What you want to break, Lord. We are not going to limit you, my God. We accept you and we welcome you in your fullness, Abba Father. Take over right now, Holy Spirit of God. Take over. We've been able 
able to come to the city of deliverance because you are king of kings, my God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you this far. It is you, Lord. Everything, my God, that has happened, this is you, my God. We have nothing for ourselves, my God. Lord, you have asked us to come to you, my God. And every other thing, my God, you will add, Abba Father. Every other thing you will bless in our lives, Abba Father. That is why, my God, I stand in the cup of your children, my God. I come to you, my God, seeking for your forgiveness, Abba Father. We seek for forgiveness this morning, Lord of Lords. We have been in places that we do not desire, my God. We have been in situations you do not desire us to be, Lord. We have desired lust of money, my God. We have indulged ourselves in sexual immoralities, our Father. We have stolen, my God. We have killed, our Father. We have shamed your children, Lord. We have gossiped, my God. Yet, Lord, you still love us the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, Lord. We come to you repent him, my father that you may redeem us with your blood Lord redeem us with your blood Abba father raise us up my God for your blood speaketh stronger my God than the blood of Abel Abba father we worship you Lord we honor your name even as the preacher comes to preach my God Holy Spirit of God you've promised your breaking bondages Lord you've promised your breaking limitations Lord let your will begin to manifest my God let your preacher be filled with your presence with your holiness my God that everything that comes out of his mouth Lord everything has power to break everything he decrees and declares my God it is because of your will my God because who are they that are saying that it is final when the Lord has not commanded it, my God. But when it comes from you, Lord, it is final, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you, Jesus, for everything. We honor you and we worship you, Holy Name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Our Father, sit in heaven. Because it's in heaven. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us from temptation, the river of so evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. I want to believe each one of us has been blessed so far. We are going to go direct to our readings two of them. The first reading comes from the book of Haggai, chapter 1. Haggai, chapter 1, verse number 1 to verse number 5, will be taken through by Sarah Kemani. Second reading will come from the book of Matthew, chapter 11. Matthew, chapter 11, verses number 25 to verse number 30, will be taken through by Joseph Kememia. Praise God. Praise God again. We are going to read the word of God. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, in the, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet unto, Zaka, unto Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatai, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Joshidek, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say, The time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sighted houses, and this house lie rest? Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. God bless you. Praise God. I'm going to read the second readings. And that is Matthew chapter 11, verse 25 to 30. And we say, at that time Jesus answered and said, 
I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. 26. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in, the, in thy sight. 27. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son. But the Father neither knoweth any man the Father save, save the Son, and he to whoms, whomsoever the Son will reveal him. 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor are heavy, heavily laden, and I will give you rest. 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thank you. going to welcome our preacher with praises to the most high number seven. What a friend we have in Jesus. Sorry, let us to change kick dog you cochini. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, a friend to bear. Change our walking style. Change our, our movement, oh God. 
Change our character, my father, that women may never be the same again. We give you glory, we honor you. We want to invite the spirit of God. We want to come against all the works of the enemy. We pray, my God, as you reign, reign in our midst. Satan, we remind you that you are defeated. 2,000 years ago, you are defeated. Even this morning, we declare and decree you are defeated. You don't have power. You don't have any authority over anything around us. Jesus, reign. Jesus, we pray this morning that you may arise and scatter our enemies. Arise and scatter our enemies. Arise and scatter the enemy of God for the glory and honor of your name. We give you glory and we honor your name. In Jesus' name we pray, believe, and give thanks. Amen. Now we can sit in the presence of God. We sit and enjoy the presence of God. We thank God for this opportunity. He has given unto us that we may come to his sanctuary to hear from him. Bwana sifiwe, na msari mnyote katika jina la Bwana hamjambo. Hebu tusalimiane kwa hewa. Kama unanisikia hebu nisalimie. Nisalimie hawa wa viongozi. Nisalimie washirika. Baadaye nisalimieni. Bwana asifiwe. Hebu fungua mdomo wako sema amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen kanisa. Amen. It is good to praise God. Because that is the total duty of man. Amen? The reason we live is just to praise our God. And because we have come to this altar, our mandate or our duty is to bow down before the Lord in reverence. We join the 24 elders. We just continue worshiping God because that is our main agenda and that, that is our calling. Praise God. Uh, my name's Oh, my name is Amos Joroge. I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. He called me a while ago when I was just a young man. And now I can see that I'm old, but I'm not no old enough. I'm still getting old. But I want to say that God is good and I have worked with him. And I can surely say as David said in Psalms, I can't quote properly, but David said that Otis and C that the road is good. Amen? All things and do what? And see that the road is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. That is the words from David. After David walking with the Lord, after David uh, getting victory, which was coming from the Lord, he, 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 he concluded that taste and see. Now you can taste and see that the road is good. Even myself, I can just assure and tell you, if you have not tasted Christ, I wish you can taste. I wish you can taste and see that the road is good. And blessed is the man who trusts in him. So it is good to trust in the Lord that you may remain or you become, you, you enter to the category of, a, of the blessed one. Because the blessed one are those who are in Christ. To moja. But we people, we normally say, uh, Furani amenunua gari kubwa, amebarikiwa. Furani amejaga gari, amejaga nyuba kubwa, amebarikiwa. Tunasema furani, amepata green card, amebarikiwa. Tunasema furani, ameolewa na furani, amebarikiwa. But the Bible does not call those blessings. Those are just material things. And they are perishable. They can be seen today, and tomorrow they cannot be seen. That's why they are called perishable. But trusting and obeying the word of God and, and becoming afraid of Christ, that is how or somebody become a blessed one. Because nobody can, uh, can take it what God has given unto you. Nobody can remove you from the kingdom. Hakuna mutu wanaeza kukutoa kwa ufarma wa buwana. So that is a thing you can hold and you remain with it in the young age in the old age, until you depart from this world. So even myself, I may not but shikahi, taste and see that the road is good. I know all those people here who are saved, they can surely say that the road is good. And yourself who just love the Lord, but you have not given your life unto Christ, it is high time now you consider. Amen? As our reading, we are being told 
we consider our ways. Bwana sifiwe. Haggai was talking to the people. The people who saw the, the temple of God which was demolished. The altar of God was demolished. It was no more. But people continue living with the, in their comfort zone. People continue living in their, in, in their areas where they find joy. They were just doing their businesses. They were just marrying and getting married. They were doing everything as per, per, the, per that time. But they never consider rebuilding the house of the Lord. And that's why the voice of the Lord came to the, the man of God, Haggai. And he told the people, how can you continue dwelling? How can you continue living? How can you continue eating? How can you continue dressing well? How can you continue doing everything kama kawaida? And the house of Lord is in ruin. You cannot rethink of rebuilding of the Lord's temple. You cannot rethink of, re of, re of making it again the, the, the temple of the Lord, the altar of the Lord. Today, things are going as normal or as usual. And I, I would like to, we, we thank the Lord as the prayers were going through. We thank the Lord for the far he has taken us as a country. We have passed the election period. We passed the, the campaign season and period. Now we are, we are just, in a, a few days, we shall, uh, uh, the, the incoming president will be ushered in. And we thank God because the church, we were praying. We are praying for peace. We are praying for harmony. We are praying for oneness. We are praying for unity. And surely we can say we have seen the heart of God. Can we clap out for that? To P.S. Bakofi for Ayo. Yes. Mubu ameona kirio chetu. Mabo ya kukibia kibia, hiyo hakuna. Mabo ya matusi, hiyo mugu ameitoa. Mabo ya watu kuchomewa wanyuba, hiyo imeisha. Na inafaa tushukuru mugu kwa mana hiyo maturity, hiyo understanding, hiyo wisdom, it is God who has brought it unto his people. The calmness we see in our nation, it is the Lord who has, uh, who has brought it. Even we would like to pray for those people who are not so contented, that they may receive it, that they, they may accept that it went like that, because that was the will of God, because we prayed, we, we voted, and we prayed God to give us the, the, the leaders, and he did so. It doesn't matter you, you got what you, you voted for, but God gave what he wanted. Sidio, kutirama kani yore wavo, teire kana ni aronire, kana ni ateire. But mugu aripeana yure, ariona die anatufa. Kwa hivyo tushukuru mugu, na tuwedera kushikiria inchi yetu na maobi, kwa mana there is no superhuman. We are, all, we, we are all short of glory of the Lord. Sidio, there is nobody who can, we can say he is clean or he is perfect. There is nobody who, who we can say that he is able. Ata gari ina, ina agusha guwa na, wanaitagwa aje, ma driver hao, experienced driver, sidiyo? Experienced driver, ana agusha gagari, sidiyo? And people can say, wacha tuwedeshwa na uyu, ameedesha miaka migi, he know the way, he A, B, C, D. But an uh, uh, experienced driver, ana agusha gagari. So, diwa bibiri inasemaga, unless the house, unless the Lord, build the house, all the others work in, in what? They work in vain. So even our, even, even our country, we don't have a reader who can read us to, to, to prosperity. We don't have a reader who will take us wherever maybe we want to go. But we want to invite the Lord to come and be with us that we may go the right way, that we may go the Lord's way, that we may go as per the will of God. Bonus, if you were. Because many a time, we choose and we fail. Isn't it? We choose and we say this is the best, but we came to realize it is not the best. Let God arise. Let God uh, be our king. Let God be our leader. Let God way be the highway we shall follow. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, today is Nedeni Sunday. As I know most of you are Presbyterian, and this, this Sunday, it is, uh, it is everywhere in Presbyterian Church, they are, uh, they, are, they are having Nedeni Sunday. And the reading we have heard, what it is going through. Nedeni Sunday means, go ye unto the whole world. Edeni, Nedeni, Nedeni means, 
Goyi. Bwana asifiwe. Can you tell your neighbor Nedeni? Goyi. Mwambie tu usimuogope hapa ni church. Mwambie goyi. The Bible says go ye. Na deposit tunakumbuka hii Sunday ya kuenda go ye. Tuende sisi tukahubirie wengine. Isn't it? We go and tell them that the road is good. We go and tell them there is God who saves. We go and tell them there is a God who heals. We go and tell them there is life after death. And it is us people to go. Sisi ndio tumeitwa na sisi ndio tutaenda. Kuna nyimbo zinaibwa nyingi lakini kuna moja inasema ijiri itafanya nini itaenderea. Kwa maana ni ya ni ya Yesu. Ijiri itaenderea kwa maana ijiri ni ya Yesu. Na ijiri lazima iendelee na ikiendelea haiwezi endelea peke yake. Biblia haiwezi kajisoma. Lazima mtu asome, atafsiri, abie watu. So so we, so we are the people to take ye the gospel. We are the people to go and tell the rest that there is Christ. To tell them there is salvation. To tell them there is one who died for them. To tell them there is one who did for them. There is one who loved them. Bwana asifiwe. We are living in a times where there is nobody who is like loving you the way you think you need to be loved. Bwana asifiwe. Unless maybe you have something Unless uko na kitu kana kako na touch mtu ana mtu anakutafuta kama uko na kitu bwana asifiwe mtu anataka kukufanya hot spot kama kwa kwa kuna network bwana asifiwe but if you don't have network nobody will you be connected with sidio kama huna kitu inachukuliwa let me sincere tusidadaganyane it isn't it kama hakuna kitu inachukuliangwa hakuna mtu atakufikiria kama ma, ma boys kama hununuagi chai au kanyama hakuna mtu ataku, atakupigia simu hakuna mtu atakutogia nagos kama hununui kanyama wewe well, well, you are nothing so people are looking for people to be connected with they want to hot spot with them kuna lazima uwe kuna kitu you are providing maybe uko na mawaidha maybe ukikaka na mtu namwambia wacha tuigie hapa tukunywe kasoda wacha tuigie hapa tukure tu chips a b c d But I want to tell you God loves you just the way you are. The love of God is unlimited. The love of God is unconditional. Amen. Sidio. The love of God is unconditional. What you wanasemanga if the, the ladies are kama wasichana wanatafuta mabwana, unaona msichana ameandika list kubwa. Imetoshana na hii kitabu ya mhubiri. Anaanza hapa juu. Must be Semeni ya kwanza. Ya kwanza ni awe awe tore and whatever. Ikile had some. Muskia had some boy you are needed. <laughs> Na ah that was that is what I was looking about. Pia ma coffee financiare stepo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Si mnaskia kamutu wewe haya kahitajiki. We need somebody who is financiare stepo. Sio mtu wa kukupea mafaka kila wakati. Sio mtu wa atemutabea miguu ate you are you are just uh, munajaga miri. No, he is somebody who will provide everything. Those are condition we human beings give. But the love of God to us is unconditional. And that's why the Bible says where we led, come unto me. Amen. Come unto me, all who you are weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Haleluya. Tumechoka na mambo ya ulimwengu. Tume wengine tumechoka na kutafuta kazi. Tumechoka na kutafuta mabwana. Tumechoka na kutafuta mabibi. Tumechoka na kutafuta kalia. Tumechoka na kutafuta people who can uh, work with. Tumechoka kutafuta maybe where we can settle. Tumekosa, tumechoka kutafuta visa. Tumekosa kutafuta mambo mengi ambayo tunahitaji. Tume, tume choka. But this day the Lord is calling us we come unto him tuende kwa Mungu sisi tulio choka sisi tuko na mizigo sisi tumebeba mizigo mizito let the Lord is calling us back unto him Bwana asifiwe you remember the story of Eden the first man he was uh, he was ushered in to the garden of Eden where he was doing a 
absolutely nothing. He was just eating at the time when he desired to have something. He was just lusting. He was just uh, having the, the, the good sinner, sinner, the, the good air in the garden. There were waters, there were animals, there were birds singing. But when the man sinned, it brought reproach to God. And he was casted out of the garden of Eden. And that time is when he was cast. He was told, you will get your food. You will not get the, the food the way you used to get food. But you have to toil. Can you tell your friend, toil? Tell him again, toil. You have to toil. If you go to the, to the dictionary, Oxford dictionary, you will see the meaning of the word toiling. Toiling, ni kurima unarima shaba eka kumi, unapata gunia moja ya, sema ya mahiti. Unarima eka ishirini, unapata debe moja ya, ya viazi. You toil, you toil, you toil. Because there is no blessing. The soil was cast. Everything the man was, holds was cast. Because we rebelled. We became rebellious. We rebelled against God. That's why the cast we were cast. And up to date, you can see. Tunapanda, kila mutu nasikia napanda, 614, 613, 611, 620, 1922. We plant everything, but we get nothing. Can you tell your neighbor nothing? Because there is a cast. Tell your neighbor, there is a cast. The soil was cast. Nadio tunajaribu kuweka borea, tunaweka DAP, tunaweka CAN, Tunaweka igina inaite wa compost, tunaweka ya kuku, ya ngobe, tunaweka hata hizo siyo mzuri, kuna igina ita inaite wa ya buzi, inatoka huko umasai, tunakibia umasai ni kutafuta borea, tunakuja tunaweka, lakini hatupati ngo. Because that, uh, the, our soil was cast. There's nothing bad as a cast. Rana ni baya sana, especially a cast from God. And that's why this morning, the spirit of God, Jesus was crucified. On the cross, and the Bible says, He who was crucified, He took our burdens, He took our infirmities, He took our cars, He took our sicknesses, He took our everything that we may be free. And to enter into His life is accepting Christ as our personal Savior. Amen. That your sins, your cars may be brought out, and you live a free man, you walk a, you walk a free man, you walk a man who is not cast, you walk like a man who is not under condemnation because the spirit of God has cleansed you. The blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed you and you have become another person. You have become another man. You are not now under the cast. You will be living under the grace. Can you tell somebody living under the grace? Living under what? Under the grace. You remember the children of Israelite when they were in the wilderness they did not uh, do farming there in the wilderness. They did nothing, but they were eating. Isn't it? You are sure they were eating manna from? They were eating what? Manna from heaven. Because that time, the presence of God was walking with them. God was with them because they were living under, under the grace. Hallelujah. There's nothing good as living under the grace. Hallelujah. It is high time, people of God, we come under this grace that we may live under the grace that we may receive from God. We forget about our toiling. We forget our, our rebelling. We forget about our hustling. We, know we, are not, we, we are not hustlers. We live under the grace because God, his grace will be sufficient unto us and whatever we need, it shall be provided unto us because all riches are in Christ Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying? It is high time we are invited to come to live under the grace. Uh, the other thing we do and we miss the mark is doing our will and we forget to do the will of God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Isn't it? Seek ye can you tell your neighbor, seek ye first the kingdom of God and the last will, come, will be added unto you. That is the word of God. If you take the word of God and you believe the word come from God, it will do miracles in your life. 
Seek ye first. Seek ye first. I want if you, if you remember, you, if you, even if you forget everything, remember this. Seek ye first. We can make it a chorus. Seek ye, seek ye, seek ye the kingdom. And the less will be added. Hallelujah. Tunajichosha na mabomiki. Tunapigia watu masimu. Tukiwauliza what is happening there. What I can do there in that side. Ni biyashara gani muzuri. What I can, what can I do? Ni waninchi gani ni nazawe eda, ni seto, ni kae, ni la, ni fanya kila kitu mzuri. Na maisha yangu ya mzuri. No. There's no, who has yet America? Maisha yoko ibadirike. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wegine wegi wa meda America. Na maisha yoko imeharibika. If, if, instead of becoming richer, they go to America and they become poor, poor, another deported. Because they thought America is diyo muisha wa mawa. But muisha wa mawazo ni kukubari yesu kama buwana na muokozi wako. Hallelujah. Accepting Christ as your personal savior. If you accept Christ as your personal savior, he will become your provider. He will give you bread every morning. Every noontime, every evening, he will provide bread because the bread comes from, from the Lord. One as if you will. He provided the Israelite with the, with the manna from heaven. Walikura manna, walikura food made in heaven. Because they were, live, they were living under the grace. And that's why the Bible is telling us, consider changing, consider your ways. Why do you reason when you are? Hallelujah. Si unajijua? Jia zako ziko poa. Can you see? Can, agari ya rafiki yako. Muliza, jia zako ziko poa. Are you a true Christian? Au ni, ni, ni you are Christian fugu fugu? Huh? Muliza, wewe nilikuona ukisama ni 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 ni? Huh? Wewe nilikuona kwa kiroli ya kabaini? Are you the one I saw? Huh? Hallelujah. It is high time now we consider our ways. You know there are sometimes we need people to describe us. Wewe unaweza jitagaza namna gani? Eh wale wameshahudhuria interviews. Mtu anasemaga, uh, you said you are Amos? You say yes. Can you tell us who is Amos? <laughs> so who are you? Lea. Now who is Lea? Can you can you can we know who is Lea? A safe Christian? Good. Iyo ni kamoja tu. Hako katampea interview. Kamutamea, kamutampea kazi. <laughs> Lazima ujitete. Sidiyo? Mutu wanajitetea na jaribu kujitagaza. Ati Lea is a, is a Christian loving ready. Lea has a big heart. Lea accommodates any nonsense. Lea, Lea, Lea. Lea can work long hours without complaining. Leah can go two months without pay. You just try to <laughs> you just try to sell yourself that you may you may woo the person who want to employ you. But you can't do your kazi. Where do you work? Ma pamba no, ma pamba no. Bado ma. Where do you work? Kwanza kuiba yo wipo. Because where we uli daganya. Nadi ona umabi atusi dada gadinyane. Be yourself. Hallelujah. Be yourself. Be the person the Lord wants you to be. Amen. Have the characters of Jesus Christ. Be, be, be meek. The Bible says, Jesus Christ, when he was caught and was taken to the, to the, to, by the Pharisees, he had all power, but he just kept quiet like a lamb which was going to be slaughtered. Although the power of God was within him, he just kept quiet. Do we keep quiet when things go us? Or we, we, we just woke up and say, these people does not know me. These people will see fire. These people saw me by night. That is what you normally say, isn't it? It is high time now we consider our ways and we come back to God. We return to God. Amen? Turudie buwana. Turudie ni buwana na vile turidio na buwana atutekeneza. If we go to the Lord, he will accept us. Amen. And he will walk with us. Hallelujah. And we shall never be the, we shall never be the same again. The burdens we are carrying, burdens of our life, burdens are many. 
Wazazi wale wako hapa wanabeba mizigo ya watoto wao, wengine wanabeba mizigo ya mabwana zao, mizigo ya mabibi zao, mizigo ya familia zao, mizigo ya madhaini ro, mizigo ya fadhaini ro, mizigo ya kanisa, mizigo ya bus, mizigo ya neighbor, mizigo ya workmen. Eh, taja ni mizigo yote. Sidiyo? Hata mizigo ya muhubiri, isn't it? Mizigo ya ya, 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 ya kanisa, mizigo ya kwaya, mizigo ya ya, ya inchi mizigo ya uda mizigo ya azimio mizigo ya Kenya kwanza Tuna, tumebeba mizigo mingi mizigo ya ABC haleluya mizigo ya county government mizigo ya MP wetu mizigo tumebeba ah tumebeba sana si ndio na Mungu ametuona vile tumebeba na ndio anatuita leo ili tuendelee tukiwa watu watu light tumrete mizi mizigo I, I know you have seen these people who are kibia, these people who sprint. How watu wana kibia marathon, wanakuwa kana namna gani? Wanavaga kama mimi. Eh? Wanakuwa kana masuti na matai. <laughs> wanakuwa kana majacket na matishat. Wanakuwa wanava very light clothes. Ni kwa nini ili waweza kufanya nini? Kuchapa kazi, kukibia. Even us in our race, we need to reef everything heavy. We draw all our, the roads we are carrying that we may see Christ. Kama wewe ni unataka kubarikiwa, unakuja hapa na uko kichwa wako imefura, vile ume umeonewa, kichwa wako imefura, vile mtu ame amekuchochea, kichwa wako imefura, mwingine alikupenda akakukataa, mwingine alichukua boyfriend yako, kichwa wako imefura kwa maana kwa hiyo mambo yote. Ukikuja kwa Yesu hata hata watu wengine wana to do things that 
that will bring praise to God. And as they bring praise to God, even as we are blessed, hallelujah, even as we are exalted, even as we become rich, even as we, we are lifted high, because we serve a living God, we serve a high God, even as he, must do, he has to take us higher, 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 amen? And that's why from today, I want to tell you, so if, if, if you are working, work for God. If you are, if you are seeking, don't seek the other things. Seek God. As I told you earlier, seek ye first the kingdom. And that, those are God's mathematics. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. God is calling us to return unto him. Remember the, in the Bible there was a man. Kuna kijana ariabia baba yake. Now I'm, I'm enough. I'm mature enough. Mi niko? Abia mwezako niko sawa. Bab, dad, dad, give me what belongs to me. Na jamaa kapewa, sidiyo? He was given what belonged to him. Na vire alieda inchizabari, aka tumia mali yake aki holela. He just misused his wealth. He just misused his property. And he, he, he had a lot of problem. To a point, he was, he, he got work. Aka adiku wakazi kwa tajiri moja, alikuwa mefuga gurue. Jamaa wacha asononeke. Jamaa kasubuka. Aka kura na gurue. Zina mukanyaga. Zina muuma. Ah, aka, aka, aka ona shida hii. That guy was toiling. I, I, can you remember the toiling I was talking about? Because to toil is to look after. Ni kutafuta kitu hakipatikani. Ni kukibizana na kitu hakipatikani. So the guy was toiling. So the guy decided. Aka fikiria. The Bible says, he came back to his senses. Can I tell you a friend? He came back to his senses. Come back to your senses. Mwabia to come a good Christian. Come back to your senses. Abia the other side neighbor. Come back to your senses. You know, when you come back to your senses, utajijua. Utajiuliza. Do I do the right thing? Do I do what am I, I'm supposed to do? Am I in the right place? Niko mahadi ni nafaa niwe. Hapa maybe kuna watu wanafaa wawe walio. Wameoa, wakona watoto. Saba, na wegina wako university. Lakini yata saa hii, haja oa. Are you in your right position? Hapa kuna watu inafaa wawe wamejeka proti. Kumi hapa kiserian, na saa hii hawaja jeka. Are you in your position? Hallelujah. Hapa kuna watu wanafaa wawe na maroli. Kama kumi hapa, wameadika wanaume kazi. Lakini huja, huja jitabua. It is high time you know yourself and you start working your direction. Hallelujah. Now as I conclude, the prodigal son decided, now I will go back to my father and tell him, I'm not qualified, I'm not worthy to be called your son. Just make me one, as one of your servants that, that I may live in your house, that I may enjoy the presence of your house, that I may enjoy the blessing of your house. Na kijana kafanya ivo, sidiyo? Yura kijana mwana mpotevu. Si alirudi kwa baba. Na baba alimkubali. Sidiyo? Even you today, if you come to the father, he will accept you. Amen? The father's love is still there. Hallelujah. You are still his son. You are still his daughter. Where do you lieda? Abu abia mwenzako, where do you lieda? Where do you litoka? Rudi nyubani. Operation Rudi nyubani. Operation nini? Operation Rudy Nyubani. That is the word to, to end the service today. Operation Rudy Nyubani. Rudy kwa baba. Rudy kwa your maker. Rudy kwa your creator. The Lord is waiting for you. Mariako yako pare pare. Utajiri wako uko pare pare. Bibi yako wako pare pare. Rorashioro wake uko pare pare. Utajiri wako uko pare kwa baba. Wadi ya ulieta, ukajifanya kajogo, ukatoroka. It is high time u, u, ujirudishe kwa baba. Hallelujah. When the father sees the son coming from a distance, Aliabia wants to stop what you are doing. I can see him coming. So the father is waiting for you coming back. The father is waiting for you returning back. And you shall be, never be the same again. Hallelujah. To see Mame Kwami Buye.
Father, glory and honor of your name. We give you glory and we honor you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray, believe and give thanks. Let's give up. Mighty crap to Jesus.
Elder Amos Njoroke aliyetuhubiria leo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Aya kuna kuingizwa kazi kwa Reverend Dr. Joseph Moniki Wanjao kama vile presbytery ya Ngong ya Ngong Hills ili, ilipokea barua ya kutumwa kwa Reverend Dr. Joseph Wanjao mhubiri wa neno la Mungu aliyetumwa parokia ya Ololaisa na akakubaliwa na presbytery ya Ngong Hills presbytery ilikubali aingizwe kazi tarehe 25 mwezi wa tisa mwaka wa elfu mbili na ishirini na mbili pasipo kuwa na jambo la kuzuia basi mnajulishwa wote wanaohusika kama kuna mtu ajuaye jambo lolote kuhusu maisha yake na imani ya Reverend Dr. Joseph Wanjao inayoweza kumzuia aingizwe kazi basi afike mbele ya presbytery ya Ngong Hills itakayokutana tarehe ishirini na tano mwezi wa Septemba mwezi wa tisa mwaka wa elfu mbili ishirini na mbili katika kanisa la PCA eno matasieni saa tatu asubuhi kama hakutakuwa na jambo la kuzuia basi presbytery itaendelea na kumuingiza reverend dr joseph wanjao kazini katika parokia ya ololaisa aya parish finance committee meeting receive greetings in the name of our lord jesus christ we shall have a parish finance meeting on 24th September 2022 at the parish office boardroom starting at exactly 9 a.m. Those to attend are all LCC chairpersons and treasurers and all parish groups chairpersons and treasurers. <coughs> so kama unajua wewe ni treasurer na wewe ni chairperson on 24th next week part 1 on a Saturday office ya parish ni ile iko pale from 9 am you will be there <laughs> you joke a lot anyway aya <laughs> anyway on sunday kutakuwa na service mbili on this sunday kutakuwa na uingizaji wa elders kazi which will start at 10 am but number it nezaanza from 9 So our service will start at exactly 8. Tunajua tunasemanga sometimes exactly 8 tuna delay. But this time round unaweza kuja exactly 8 maybe we will have even begun. So eh, by exactly 9 we'll be done with the service. So msiseme hakuna morning service ati mtakuja service nyingine mshinde the whole day nja. Ati sijui liko na mahali pa kwenda kutakuwa na service so hakuna excuse kwa kindomo ya Mungu bwana Yesu asifiwe so we come early e, na tuna ukiona kwa unaweza preach pia unaweza niona hiyo sunday unaweza tuamkia si tumeamua tunarudi nyumbani e, kwa hivyo hata Irina anaweza hubiri e, so <laughs> so e, as in i'm just saying anyway kutakuwa na morning service and then on 23 On 23rd of this September there will be a kesha we've been invited which will be at Roymen Charles Roymen Wangapi wanajua Charles Roymen PCA Charles Roymen Guy mnaendanga tu PCA Xerian Hamjui PCA Charles Roymen Anyway iko tu hapo Lusurutia ama hapo Roymen unapanda na hiyo barabara So kutakuwa na service ah sorry tutakuwa na kesha on 23rd and we've all been invited and also have a blessed week praise god yeah uh, on 24th uh, of september so we are going to have a uh, Uh, we had a meeting last Sunday with the leaders and we planned something small for you people so tutaenda kwa patron kwa patron wetu unajua patron wetu ni nani eh aitwa Eldangige ni hapa 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 visiti hapo hivyo on saturday 24th kutakuwa na mbuzi tutakuwa tukikula mbuzi na ugali sawa sawa So mtu anajua kuchinja. So on that day usikule kwenyu. Anza kufast kuanzia Thursday.
sababu tuta tutafungua Saturday. Sawa sawa. So please come. Wewe ukikosa kukuja tutakula mbuzi yako ni sawa. Hatutatangaza sana kwa sababu hiyo ni hiyo si fellowship. Hiyo bado hiyo ni swallowship. Sawa sawa. So tunaomba mkuje and uh, and next Sunday we'll give the information and the direction. So on that Sunday on that Saturday tutapatana tutapanga vile tutapatana na tutaenda kwa patron at least we know place patron ana anaishi sawa sawa so god bless you so much and let us continue praying for the incoming leaders sawa sawa let us pray for for the leaders who are coming amen god bless you praise be to god uh, we thank god we have come to the end of our service jerry kenonga is my name i'm born again this morning as we proceed and request the praise and worship team to give us a song. Be blessed. We conclude by the grace and then we pass. Let us stand. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? Above every other name